Ukraine managed to paralyze traffic on Crimean Bridge. Russian media, 2.500 loaded tanks with oil products have accumulated on the North Caucasus Railway of the Russian Federation due to restrictions on the passage of dangerous goods through the Crimean Bridge and the need to wait for the approach of ferries and tankers, reports Russian Commerçant media outlet. This problem was discussed at a meeting of the Working Group of the Ministry of Industry and Trade of the Russian Federation on March the 15th. It follows from its proceedings. The publication refers to this document. Some stand for six months. Market participants propose to use more tankers for transportation to the Crimea and in the meantime to block the release of additional tanks to the network in this direction, the newspaper writes. According to her, the downtime in the south emphasizes the general shortage of oil and gasoline tanks in Russia, assessing it in different ways from hundreds to 45,000 units. Oil companies propose to temporarily lift the ban on extending the service life of tanks, but rail car builders and Russian railways oppose this. Vasil Maliuk, the head of the security service of Ukraine, said that Russia no longer uses the Crimean bridge to supply weapons to the front after Ukrainian strikes damaged the crossing. The bridge, also called the Kirsch Bridge, connects the Russian mainland with the Russian-occupied Crimean Peninsula, making it a crucial supply route for the Russian military in Ukraine. Construction on the 19-kilometer-long bridge began after the illegal 2014 annexation and occupation of Crimea and was completed in 2018. The bridge was heavily damaged in Ukrainian strikes in October 2022 and July 2023. The plan to strike the bridge was first conceived in March 2022, Maliuk said. Before the bridge came under attack, 42 to 46 trains carrying weapons and ammunition passed there per day, Maliuk said. Today there are four or five in a day, of which four Four are for passenger traffic and one is for consumer goods, Maliuk said. Russian proxy authorities in occupied Crimea regularly shut down traffic on the Crimean bridge amid reports of explosions and drone strikes. When the structure is fully restored, Russia will likely use the bridge once again for weapons supplies, Maliuk said, but implied that Ukraine plans to then carry out another attack. Everything has its time, Maliuk said. A portion of a bridge in the U.S. state of Maryland has collapsed after a large boat struck it, causing multiple vehicles to fall into the water below, Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott says he is aware of the incident at the Francis Scott Key Bridge in the city, and is in contact with local authorities, Scott says, I'm aware of and en route to the incident at the Key Bridge. Emergency personnel are on scene, and efforts are underway. Baltimore City Police have just confirmed with us that it is possible that there are workers in the water after the Key Bridge collapse. Holy hell. I wanted to know what the bang was. Ship hit the key bridge, sinking, the bridge is gone. Holy hell. Armed Shiite units belonging to the Iraqi Islamic resistance movement fired rockets at the military airfield in Harab al Jair, which is used by American forces stationed at bases in the Syrian province of Hasaka. Al Mayadeen TV channel reported this, according to channel, several strong explosions were heard at the airfield, and a thick column of smoke rose into the sky. Previously, this military facility was attacked by a kamikaze drone, no information was provided about the consequences of the attack according to Ra Novosti reports, an American base in the Karab al Jair area in the Hasaka province in northeastern Syria came under rocket fire, but four missiles were fired at the American base in Karab al Jair, resulting in several explosions and a fire. A source close to the situation told the agency, after this, American helicopters were lifted into the air. There are no reports of casualties.
Attacks by Shiite militias against American bases in Syria and Iraq began in October 2023 after the Israeli invasion of the Gaza Strip and stopped two weeks ago with the beginning of the Muslim fast in the month of Ramadan, according to the Al Modin news portal. U.S. military installations in Syria have been subject to 99 attacks since October 2023 by Iranian-backed militias fighting on the side of the Syrian army against terrorists from the Islamic State group.